ladies and gentlemen. It's the Backyard Maker Show. Back, 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 backyard make a show, make a show. We, 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 Peace, 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 interwebelians, beautiful people. What's going on? What's up? We're back with another one, the Backyard Mecca Show, backyardmechashow.com on the all-new Gorilla Podcast Network. Interwebelians, welcome back. Um, man, it's, it's me and B, you know, we're here to uh, talk your ears off for a little while, and we're happy that you're here to um, to join us, man. Uh, B, what's up, man? How's everything? Everything's pretty good. Um, It's wild out there. It is a lot of shit going on. There's so much, and I really was kind of dying to come out here and talk about it. Yeah, well, let's talk, man. We, you know, we haven't seen each other for a week, you know, since last show. So, um, within that week, we always come up with things to talk about, or things happen in the news and things like that. So, um, I don't know. Let's let's get into it. I'll let you set it off. Come on. Oh, there's so much going on. First, I wanted to talk about this crazy text that I got today. Um, and everybody in the nation apparently uh, got it. That uh, the presidential alert. Yeah, that bullshit. <laughs> right under the toilet. Um, I feel <laughs> some type of way about it. I don't know if you do, but it, it's, it, it's very odd. It's so odd, yeah. and you know, like I don't know. We talk so much about rights here in this country and all that, and. I never gave permission for them to send me a text like yeah, that, yeah. you know? No, and, no soliciting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you but know. yeah, it, 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 it's odd that they're doing that. It's the first time in history that they do a presidential alert. I mean, you know, like we were talking earlier, they do the, the ones on TV and things like mm -hmm. that. Even that's not, uh, like we were saying, it's not um, asked for or um, we want that. But yeah, no, it's just a presidential alert. Like, what's, what's up with that, you know? Yeah, and, and what's really behind it, you know, like, mm -hmm. what, because there's definitely... What are they trying to, what are they trying to prepare us for? Yeah, you know? I don't know if it's something like that or, or I just, or trying to get more access, you yeah. know, to, to more information, even though I'm sure they had plenty of access to begin with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just, it's just weird to me, you know, it doesn't feel right, there's something something's up yeah no it's something's up about it what what do you so what do you think what, what, what do you think it is i don't know i i don't want to like speculate like that um yeah. but i do definitely feel that something imminent is about to happen um i feel it you know and i don't know if it's somewhere else or if it's gonna be here it's Ooh. coming something's coming yeah. no absolutely um I mean, my gut feeling, you know, I always get gut feelings, man, and, and I'm I'm usually not not wrong, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, I just feel, like you said, they're getting ready for some shit, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, um, because why would they need to do a presidential alert to reach us? Like, that's what the TV's for, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, you got all these news channels that broadcast programming, whatever, so why get a direct um, alert to my hip you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's odd. It's definitely odd. So I don't know. We'll see what Agent Orange got up. Right under the toilet. Got up <laughs> his sleeve. But, you know, whenever I talk about that dude, my stomach just feels like. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah. For real. No, I, I I understand. Like, it's just some crazy shit going on out there. And um. I don't know if anybody else feels this way. You know, comment in. It would be nice to know, like, what everybody else is thinking about it and kind of, yeah. you know, their ideas about this situation. And is there more to it? Or is mm -hmm. you, you know, do you think it is a good thing? Maybe some people do think it's a good thing. You yeah, know? talk to us. Put us on. Like, maybe, you know, let us see your, uh, your, your, your perception on it. You know, let us know your thoughts on it. So we welcome commenting, you know, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, the Facebook, uh, we haven't really gotten any commenting yet, you know, and I don't want to be one of these companies that front like they, you know, they're getting all this commenting and, you know, we're still working on that. We're working on followers. We're working on 
mm-hmm. um, likes and people sharing and commenting. So um, when you guys do finally comment, we will talk about it. But please, uh, you know, for our fans out there, because we know we have some because some people do, uh, you know, we're getting the likes and, and we have friends that tell us. But even the people that don't, that we don't know, just, you know, please just reach out, even if it's an email, email, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you know, please just just it, it, it'll help out the show. And it'll help us move to places and talk about things where, you know, that are kind of more direct into what you're into or, or we could talk about things that that you want to talk about. So please more, feel more than welcome. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, there's also some other shit going on in the news and all over that most of us can't avoid. Um, you know, first I wanted to talk about Cosby. Oh, man. Hey, don't. <laughs> let's talk about Cosby yeah man that's um this, this is definitely tough yeah yeah this is a sensitive that. subject um and I'm very you know feminist and and all this stuff but I do have certain beliefs from looking at things with the whole picture mm-hmm. you know so um like a very sociological view of things and you know we have Bill Cosby and we have Kavanaugh now right yeah Um, It has a lot to do with sexual assault, um, very different cases, but very important to look really deep on how both of these cases are being handled because they're being handled completely different. Absolutely. You know, uh, to begin with. And, um, you know, for my fellow feminists out there, I really want to ask you is condemning a man and i know i know there's not enough justice i know people need to serve but is condemning them to prison really the best solution Mm -hmm. you know and i say this because what is prison doing you know like what are we doing we're sending people for however many amount of years they get locked up in this institution they get angrier they're they're not getting the help that they need and then they come out to society um how are we helping society by doing this yeah you know so we have an issue with that in in itself like how we're taking care of these situations because Mm -hmm. even if they're being tried even if they're serving you know yeah then what what we've resolved it like we resolved it because they end up in prison. Oh yeah, no, it's it's always it's always a revolving door. You got to keep nurturing it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and we know Kavanaugh's not going to, um, like Bill Cosby. Then and he got a lot of time. For yeah, that, it's you know? yeah, and that's the problem. See, that's one of the issues I got. Like you know, no way or form do I consent to, um, you know, drugging people's drinks or giving people pills to knock out and basically raping them mm-hmm. and you know assaulting them sexually assaulting them. Not at all. And, um, you know, I wasn't there. So, I, you know, I, I take that kind of stance. But, yeah, there's a bunch of people that are saying the same thing. But also there was a bunch of them or a, couple, a few of them that they got caught lying, basically, or, or recanted their statements. You know, so it's a political, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a very sensitive subject, you know, because then, then you got the people, I don't know how, how true this is, and I have to look into it, but I've heard about it before, that you're saying, you know, Bill Cosby wanted to buy uh, NBC or something like that, and they were At trying. That to, time, they were that, trying to basically put the black man in his place and let him know, like you're overstepping. So there's a lot of things to look into. Like I'm not saying he didn't, because he even I, I believe yeah. he, didn't he even admit to yeah to doing something and <clears throat> and it's wrong. It's completely Absolutely, wrong. Absolutely, hundred percent. But you know, always looking at the bigger picture, mm-hmm. we have to look at Hollywood lifestyle. Yeah, which is wrong, especially back then exactly all about drugs all about hanging out all about partying and it's wrong but i know he's not the only one doing it and why is he being targeted like right now you know and then those are the things like we really have to look into Mm -hmm. and you know you see the whole thing with kavanaugh he's freaking out he's this and that and then you have the president making fun of like a sexual assault victim you know yeah and there's something not right you know, because if it's it's not the same justice, mm. it really isn't. And even even look at uh uh what, what was the guy's name? I forget his name. The um, the director, who 
where basically the whole Me Too movement started with the director, where all these girls started coming out. What's his name? I forget his name. I, I don't know. Yeah, um, I forgot. It, I believe it was the woman, though, that, that started that. Yeah, yeah. but it, because of the director, the guy, um, mm-hmm. Harley, Harvey Weinstein, I think oh, his okay. name. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, he basically, from, from my understanding, did worse than what Cosby did, and he got a smack on the wrist. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with uh, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, he wasn't sexually harassing nobody, but he um, knowingly, they say, gave HIV to all these women. And again, a smack on the wrist. His show is still on TV. I think he started doing a new show. He actually made more ratings after. The Cosby show, it's gotten taken off the shelves. It's gotten blackballed, all this. Why? Why is it different for a black and brown person compared to a white person. This is where the whole uh, mystery of white privilege comes in that we talk about so much. You know what I mean? And again, we're not condoning mm-hmm. and, and agreeing with none of that stuff. We're just making you think and it's look, like look at everything. It's like the bigger picture. Like there angle. is a bigger picture. Absolutely. You know, and like we're so quick to be like justice and, you know, women aren't able to speak. They don't have a voice. They you know and when they speak up they they bring them down and they don't um condemn these men Mm -hmm. so i you know what they condemn cosby that's it is what it is but you know what then all of them need to be condemned in the same way exactly it has to be equal you know it has to be equal if that's what america's about you know but we we're seeing the truth in america if you ask me if i love america i say yes why can't you say yes? <laughs> say you love America right now. Say it. That's what we got to say to say you love America. Because as B was saying, it's not equal. That's the problem. It's not. That privilege is there. Look at Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's going to, nothing's going to happen to Kavanaugh because that's Trump's boy. You know what they might do? Right under the toilet. They might smack him on the wrist. He'll be out of the spotlight for a little bit. A little later down the line, he's going to yeah. come, come and win that seat that he's fighting for right yeah. now anyway. Trust me, Bill Cosby though, he's done. They 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 shattered his his image. It's so crazy to they me. They assassinated it's his so character. It's so crazy to me. It's insane. Be just to um, and this guy like he shouldn't be in the seat. Like he shouldn't be in Congress. He should like that's just period. Whether that's true or not, yeah. he already admitted to drinking a lot. He already admitted to doing all these things. That is not someone we need to represent us. He is not like us. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, if he's already going through this now before he's even elected. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it just that's you can imagine. And honestly, that's just him. I know most of those motherfuckers are doing some shit. Yeah. You know, some some fucked up shit. Even Agent Orange himself. Like they had said some shit about right under the toilet. Yeah. You know, it just never came to light. And and they cover it up and they act like it's okay. And you know what? A lot of this, too, is these wives accept accept a lot of the this stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. And they don't come out and speak about it because they're scared. They're scared. They're scared to lose their their little life of not going to work and yeah. being able to go shopping with the girls and ordering online and going to the and tea shame on and you shit. because you are the women that are messing it up for all these women out here trying to fight for a cause trying to have justice damn, you know? <laughs> damn be you're going into that i'm i feel some type of way all right no nah, that's good that's good that's good <laughs> i really do because <clears throat> this one and I, I've, I've fought for, I've seen, and I've seen the injustice. Like, I was a sexual assault counselor. I had to help people make reports, sit with them during interviews, um, during forensic exam, rape yeah. kits, you know, um, all, That's crazy, all of that. You know, and I saw that most of them, they didn't get any type of justice, you know. But then the ones that did, it was something weird behind it like there wasn't a lot of evidence it was like something else yeah you know it's weird man who knows man like they're trying to no pun intended they're like trying to trump the records of these things you know what i'm saying i don't know what it is (laughs) but um yeah as you were saying about the the prison industrial complex um it's interesting because uh you know i've been messing with the soundboard and i got a little thing i wanted to play Whenever we do talk about it, uh, because it's important. 
Um, you know, and it comes from the boondocks, man. I know a lot of you guys are used to the boondocks or know about the boondocks. And, uh, you know, it's a conscious uh, urban uh, cartoon that was out years mm-hmm. ago. Um, and I wish they were still out, man, because I loved it. I yeah, loved they're it. they're pretty it, real. It, it was genius. They oh, were yeah. pretty real, yeah. Um, so, I don't know, you want to talk a little bit about the prison industrial complex a little bit more before I play that? or Yeah, because I think that... Um, this is this is where we need to fight more and we're not doing it we're getting so caught up with this minimum like this minimal topic of like just the sexual assault of this person or this Mm -hmm. and we're not looking at where we can actually fix these things you know Mm -hmm. and i think the prison the prison system in itself is one of the first things that we need to take down absolutely and I say that because it's meant for slavery. Mm-hmm. It goes against human rights. You know, a lot of people say, oh, slavery's over this. And no, it's not. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not. You know, it's just redesigned mm-hmm. in our modern time. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, there's slave labor. There's all this stuff that di- still does ex- exist, you know, just because some, some people might not be living that, you know, in their little fake bubbles. But it does exist and the the prison system is not meant to help no it's it's nothing but cheap labor for these it's cheap labor company and um, companies and you're housing people with mental illnesses because a lot of these things do come from mental illnesses yes. they're not being treated properly you know um they're not they don't have proper counseling. There's no group. You know, there's there's all these other things that they will put in the prisons, but it's so limited on how to actually help, yeah. you know. And there's the funds and this and that that to the point that most inma- inmates are not going to get a counselor or, you know, they're not going to yeah. get the help that they need. And, you know, that. they know that it, it, it's it's like it's a format. It's it's like the medical industry. Be They don't they serve. They sell you. um they sell you medicine, not cures. And, and and I look at the prison system just like that. Like, okay, people go to jail. They're there for years. They're doing the free labor. They're not getting um, treated, whether it's mental or whatever, rehabilitated to go out and work in the world. That's why motherfuckers would rather stay mm-hmm. in prison or come right back in. And that's they know how this. they train them. Yeah. They, they know this. They know because that's that money coming mm-hmm. in still. It's a business. So they're not going to be able to care. survive out in society when they go out because they're so institutionalized. And then... They come out and they're like, they freak out because first they can't get jobs Mm -hmm. because if you have some type of record, it's almost impossible to get a job out here unless you're doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. And that is really hard to start, you know, from the bottom, especially when you just got out of prison. Um, And these are really, really important things that we need to start breaking down, you know. So let's talk about those sexual assault cases mm-hmm. but what where are these guys going to go what is the help mm-hmm. that they're gonna get you know even if kavanaugh let's say he did some time which is not gonna happen but nah. let's say he did like a year or two what the hell is that gonna do yeah. honestly yeah, you know n- number one he's gonna go get fucked up in there they're gonna fuck him up in there he's gonna get real mad and then he's gonna come out and he's gonna well, nah, i don't nah, you know what? He, he'll be in one of those like fancy he'll be in one of those resort fucking prisons where you know <laughs> probably so. um because i i think cosby they didn't right they put him in a i'm not sure i'm not sure i think they put him in like regular prison which is interesting too they might have yeah i'm not i gotta look into that to be honest um you know and then and there's no help and this guy's still gonna be that way yeah exactly. when he comes out you know it's, it's, it's a smack on the wrist he's just Basically, the way I see it is when when these these dudes get caught and their little cronies get caught, they know they're like shit. Okay, it's out in the open. We have to make it look like you know I'm getting reprimanded for something. So yeah. all right, I'll act like this or we'll do this. You know, put me under arrest. But again, then they'll be in their house arrest or you know one mm-hmm. of these resort fucking things, and then they come out like all right, back to business and start where they left off at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um. I don't know, let me, I'm going to play that, uh, that quick uh, All right, let's snippet do it. real quick, guys. Check it out. Check it, check it out. The prison industrial complex is a system situated at the intersection of government and private interests. It uses oh. prisons as a solution to social, political, and economic problems. It includes oh. human rights violations, the death penalty, slave labor, policing, courts, the yes. media, political oh. prisoners, and the elimination of dissent. 
Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> hello. It's in yeah. a cartoon. Yeah, y'all gotta wake up, man. For the people that don't know that, um, it's um, they got us real, real fucked up, man. From regular life to what we eat to medicine to, you know, even even when we're reprimanded, prisons and shit like that. Um, you know what B was saying is very important. Um, you know we have to the people that go to jail, we still have to rehabilitate them so they could be a better person, a better soul when they come out. You know, just like we have to make sure that the females that were affected by these things too are are helped obviously you know what i mean yeah and in the right way too yeah, you yeah. know like because we we provide a counseling service and this and that but it's only as extensive as the grant will give you you know yeah so if we're a service and like for me where i worked it was only three of us for the entire state of connecticut as spanish speaking you know that's crazy because of the funding um guess what we're gonna get hundreds of people i'm not gonna be able to serve i could only serve so many yeah you know um so that you know counselors get burned out there's not enough help there's not and then the the women aren't healing the way that they really need to heal yeah you know? and you know what it's, we fight for these type of things b but it's 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 set up like that they want that mm -hmm. they want the re reoccurring cycle they want motherfuckers to keep going to jail they, yeah. they want people to come out of jail and not know what to do and they want you know what i'm saying they want that mob that angry mob that's like mm -hmm. lock them up lock them up put them in there you know and and it's like yeah you want justice but there are other ways to go about it you know yeah. and i think sometimes we have to take it into our own hands yeah and pe know? people people gotta wake up though people gotta wake up though because people some people don't see it like that you know what i mean they don't understand what's really going on mm -hmm. um they have a very very big false reality you know what i mean I mean, everything we see yeah. is a false reality. It's like Big Brother, The Matrix, whatever you want to call it. While we're watching each other, they're watching us all the time. Y'all heard that, man? Damn. But For it's real? true. It's true, man. Like, you know, they, they sell they sell false hope, false reality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it just keeps and I know, us like, in the hole. The, there's a lot of women that are hurt, you know, by this. There's a lot of women that want this justice, like... And I'm all for him. But we have to sometimes put our hurt aside and like what we might want in that moment and think what can really help a lot of women in the future. What yeah. can really make some type of change. Absolutely. Because, you know, some of those resentful women don't care. At, you know when they feel like that and it's they just it's want justi justice it's justifiable they want justice any it's, possible way that they can get it it's you justifiable but but what you know like you just said they you know what's gonna help our people in the long run you know mm -hmm. what i mean we're gonna fight for your justice but don't put everybody in the hole where we're moving two steps back you know let's move two steps forward to exactly. get you your justice but don't throw the rest of everybody else mm -hmm. back and then you have like because i've actually talked to some people where they're like They'll defend Kavanaugh and mm -hmm. like throw Cosby under the bus. And it's like, no, like this is all some fucked up bullshit. All of it is, you know, because it's it's wrong in general. Even what Cosby did was wrong, you know, and he's yeah. going to do his time. That was wrong. But everybody needs to be able to. It has to be equal. You know, it can't just be black and brown people serving in prison. There's something wrong with that. Yeah. You know, because we all know that it's not just black and brown people committing crimes. Nope. So, what the hell? You know, and at, at the end of the day, too, B, <clears throat> people are, you know, it reminds me of that skit. I don't know if you ever saw the um, the Dave Chappelle skit when um, he was like a, a rich, uh, I don't know, movie star or some type of star. And, you know, he would go into his rooms right before he had sex. He'd make the women sign um, a mm. contract or, or like a consent thing of saying like he's not no rape. Like yeah. you, can't, you can't get me for rape or none of that. There you go. And so, you know what I mean? It's it, it's it's that it's funny, but it brings light to the subject. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's what it got to be like. It, it, I know especially men nowadays are thinking twice before they um they do stuff. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers just got to 
don't be a fucking savage and an animal, you know, <laughs> towards the women. I mean, that's and that's what it really no, comes no, down one, to. One, I mean, yeah. I, I get it. Like, I get it. I was young once too, but I woke up. You know what I mean? So, y'all gotta get off that shit, man. Um, you know, and, you know, the women are queens, man. They're 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 the, they're the, you know they're the answer to everything, man. And um, we gotta we gotta put into the culture that you know into the kids into into anybody doing shit like that that that's the wrong way you know you you love and nurture your woman and you you bring her up not um you know not knock her out with pills and 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 do things that are unwarranted you know what i mean exactly absolutely or even the <clears throat> because i guess Kavanaugh's situation he like exposed himself to this woman you know mm -hmm. like and and things like that so it's like mm -hmm. Nobody and, wants to see that and, shit. And the other thing, man, <laughs> the other thing, man, I get the whole Me Too movement. You know, I feel some of it, you know, got a little too extra with some people coming out. Some people I think were lying, you know. I'm not saying everybody, but it just became almost like a trend, like anything else. Believe it or not, a majority of women have been assaulted. Oh, no, no, I do, I do too. I'm not saying that, but I'm, I'm thinking, you know, just like some of the yeah. women, women recanted with Cosby. Um, I don't know, you know, like... Please stop waiting 40 years later also to fucking well, say Well, you have to you understand I mean? trauma and yeah. how that works. I understand, and like bro. when you work in it, you, you, a lot of people don't know that like when it comes to PTSD or some form of trauma, when you have just had some form of trauma and somebody comes at you and asks you any type of questions, you won't remember right away. Mm. And a lot of times women black, block out things yeah. and things might not even surface until later in their lives you gotcha. know so because sometimes that's a self-defense mechanism yeah um a lot of women do that and mm -hmm. that's very like you know when you learn and you study a lot of these things when i was working with women with mm -hmm. sexual assault that was one of the things i had to tell like the police officers when they were interviewing is like you can't ask questions like that because you're re-traumatizing the person mm -hmm. and they might not recollect the events yeah. the way it is because of the trauma you know and that's just like science that's how like our brains function yeah. so a lot of people don't understand that so yeah, yeah women do usually even men anybody who's been assaulted any type of trauma they'll remember and recollect it years later gotcha so. yeah I, 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 it was just odd though that all that you know because when the whole me too movement started everybody that was coming out was like oh yeah this happened with this guy 20 years ago 40 years ago 30 years ago and you know i get it now more that you you explained it like that but you know as someone who doesn't especially a guy who yeah does, yeah guys aren't gonna, and that's and that's a lot of I mean? like the so. fallback now that i'm seeing like a lot of people saying oh why are you taking this long this long that's actually very very common when it comes yeah. to sexual assault See, and that's so. what that that that's something that should be taught man um to us you know just like in, when we're kids mm -hmm. and they teach us about sexual harassment in class they need to Mm -hmm. and, the, and the worst it. part is that, that those women will relive that way later so they'll have all the symptoms and stuff of like grieving or whatever since they didn't have it like at that moment because they yeah. were so in shock that happens way later and then when they come out and they say this and then everybody's like you're a liar you're a liar blah 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 they they'll recant so that's why a lot of women recant their stories so yeah we, we gotta do we gotta do better especially the fellas man we gotta do better so we don't you know why make our women feel uncomfortable man so at the end of the day man keep your fucking hands to yourself man hey, don't touch me bitch exactly but um <laughs> b man i want to move on let's move on a little all bit all right um, all right yeah that was some deeper deeper darker stuff <clears throat> you know what i wanted to um i actually wanted to talk about um this fucking buffoon kanye west um again you know yeah. again he's uh he's do gone doing kanye's yeah. gone like yeah. i'm sorry people yeah. that is not kanye anymore so <laughs> <laughs> fucking dude man he's uh he's definitely in the in the sunken place man he's gone he's mentally gone he's just done he's just I, done I, I, and, and now i'm starting to look at it like okay like, like we had hope for him <clears throat> at one point yeah. you know now i'm like now it's like is. it's like he's he's irrelevant in the music business right now as far as stuff you know so i feel he's just doing shit to keep himself relevant like he just came out with that new song with uh this other corny dude little pump called um and again look look what we're talking about look, look and these are two guys singing this 
to um you know the world and for kids to hear and it's called um I, I don't even know the title but it goes uh you're such a fucking hoe i love it i love it some shit yeah. like that yeah that's the the chorus yeah, to the some shit. people i've heard like, like say you know that. what i mean so it, it's like you know that it's shit like that that we can't put out and try to normalize this this sexual devious type of thinking you know what i'm saying within our men especially and um so th- i wanted to talk to him about that song you know what i mean because it kind of fit in with everything and then you know he, he he's out here he came out on a i don't know saturday night live or the 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 late night show one of those shows and um he's wearing his little maga hat make america great again his trump hat and supporting trump and <laughs> trying to say that uh i don't know the the 13th amendment should be abolished which was the amendment that stopped slavery like it's, the dude is fucking he's lost it man so kanye shut the fuck up yeah Boo. Ooh, you suck <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah man like i'm getting tired of that shit man like and it's so crazy because he's such a different person now like when he was first came out his music was amazing his production yeah. amazing even his lyrics and, everybody and, lo- and, love and kanye I his lyrics say. and his um his, his his lyrical content was 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 good you know might, he might have not been the best but he was above average and um yo man and even the stuff he talked about he was he was very conscious it was and, deep yeah and, and political and, and and now like yo you're just sucking corporate political dick happened? like that's all he's doing so uh, nigga you gay cut that shit out kanye man um yeah i'm just disappointed in the dude and I don't, I don't i don't i thought there was help for him but i don't i don't think so no more man i don't know man he's he's definitely in that in that sunken place yeah i, I so. think so i think he he's out of it like i don't think he he just even knows what's real anymore to be honest yeah and i think that he's speaking from a place of ego yeah ego and you know what i think um his medication too like i don't think <laughs> medication yeah. i don't think he needed you know i i believe a lot of time they put people on medication for two things either to keep you on there and keep the medical industry going or if you're some kind of threat man just to silence you dumb you out you know make you yeah. bowl make you um to to hide your subconscious, your spirit, yeah, yeah. your spirit to keep it, your spirit down. Yeah, and it, and it stops all the mm-hmm. the the want the stuff of you wanting to mm-hmm. basically awaken your people and and, and speak your right mind. It, it, it takes you off track mentally. So, um, that's what I feel. Those meds and shit were. You know. I really do think that there should be some type of show or something just to give him a platform to hear what the hell he has to say, like. Because he's, he's, he's mixing all these thoughts too. Because that could be a p- the medication a lot. Yeah. You know that happens too. It, like he's saying one thing and this and that and that. And I think it would just be interesting to know exactly everything that yeah. he wants to say. But he's had he's had the platforms, and that's the thing. And I know, and he just fucks you know what it I'm saying. Up. Like, like you come out with that song, you have your little rant on uh late night tv saying they were bullying you because you were wearing your hat and all this other shit and, and, and then he you. defends his um <clears throat> wife about what somebody said something oh, i don't know oh oh uh, uh, uh who was it like nick cannon and them or something saying that that they all boned her and some shit like that i think i think it was drake to or be drake, honest to drake too. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a couple of them he was going out at a couple of cats a few weeks ago yeah like drake uh Nick Cannon. And I think that's interesting because you got a song talking about hoes and you love them. And then yeah. when somebody else says the same thing about your hoe, you have a problem with it. You and know? not only that, man, you, you you had that song. I ain't messing with no gold digger. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then he got the biggest one in the whole fucking world, <laughs> man. Hey, yo, Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, I'm going to need you to rewind your life. And go back to the old Kanye. Please. Way back. Absolutely. Back into time. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just you know I wanted to bring that up real quick because uh, you know I don't want to keep talking about him, but it's important. I feel it's important, it's important because, because you know it, it, he's still out there. He's still making music. These yeah, kids. He's reaching people, especially these the kids. kids yeah. Only know this Kanye. You know. Yeah. They don't even know that. They yeah. just know, oh, my, you know, like my parents, like, mm-hmm. thumb you this and that. Oh, it's cool. Like his music, did blah, blah, blah. And they don't even know what they're taking in, you know? So it is, it's scary. 
everything that comes out his mouth sounds like <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> so gross i love this fucking soundboard <laughs> shit but um yeah let's move on b what uh what else i don't know what do you want to get into um what else is going those on those are the really like the things that i wanted to cover today um you know kind of just i want people to start going out there and really looking at like what's real what's not because remember there's a lot of things that are put in media and in front of your face that aren't truth you know and it's for us to decipher that you know and it's really hard because this is such a mirror world it's upside down you know Mm -hmm. so things that you might think are good or not and you know think vice versa you know so we have to learn to follow our guts um, and and really look behind all of it and see what's going on and what they're doing, you know, and try to do something to actually cause change, you know, and not just talk about it, be about it. Yeah, and that's <clears throat> excuse me, that's one of the main issues that we have that um there's too many people talking and not doing, not mobilizing. So. Exactly, and you know what, the ones that are like we're fucking tired. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to lie. Yeah. Like, it's tiring, you know? Like, because there's such few people actually out there yeah. working with this, you know? Like, I'm working currently now with, with people with mental illness, schizophrenia, severe schizophrenia. You know, like, okay. I, I've worked with all different types of populations in the field, this and that. And it, it's to learn and to help and to see the different ways that I can try to make some change happen. But it gets so tiring when... It's you against so many, you yeah. know. Yeah, we need we need help, man. We need help. Like you know, this this show is a form of being out there fighting the good fight. Yeah, you know, as well as what you do, as well as what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of this, but uh, we need help, man. We can't just do this by ourselves. Um, we need the adults who didn't know about this and learn about it to join in, and the adults that know about it to join in as well, because. This is a long, long, deep battle that is going to affect our kids, our grandkids, grandkids, grandkids. You know what I mean? And if 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 we don't fight now, man, they're going to have it way worse. Yeah. Way, way worse. So. And I'm very surprised that we haven't gotten to the point of really like, like protesting these prisons, of really like getting out there, of, you know, trying to stop this, you know, because we're getting distracted by all these other things, you know, so... I really want to say that, you know, we need to go out there and we need to make something happen. Um, I also want to give a shout out to my little brother who's locked up. Cisco, I love you. You know, if you get to see this. Or shout so, out to Cisco, man. Um, I'm, I, he's always in my heart. He's an amazing person. And, you know, I know he, he was dealt um, the wrong cards in his life. So... When I talk about this, I don't say it because it's personal to me, too, you know. And, um, you know, like, people don't realize, like, we're, I'm not just talking out of my ass. Like, I know this in and out um, when it comes to family or working in it, in it or all of it because I had to live it my whole life, yeah. you know. And I'm tired of it. I'm really tired. And this has to change. So... You just gotta keep fighting being you're doing the right thing so you know we just gotta keep at it i know we gotta so. keep at it man um <clears throat> but i think we're gonna um we're gonna cut it there man um i think it was a great show you know just us two like i love the guests and mm-hmm. stuff but sometimes we just need our yeah, time not, not every guest is as deep as as the type of content we get into and that's okay yeah and there's nothing wrong with that but we also you know, I need my little fix of, of, of getting real deep into these conversations, too, that I love. So yep. um, I enjoyed this. But um, <clears throat> real quick, before we tune out, man, please, once again, check out the Gorilla Podcast Network. Um, go on Instagram, the Gorilla Podcast Network, Facebook. Just search GPN. It'll pop up. Um, you know, if you're from Connecticut and you're local and you're looking to get your podcast started, please contact us. Um we have a few shows under the belt right now. We still have room for more. We could help you get off the ground. Um, we'll teach you everything we know, the ropes on how to get online, how to get on iTunes, Spotify, 
how to build up your pages and all that, get followers and listeners. Um, so come through. Um, but uh, also check out our show. Uh, you can hit us up at Backyard Mecca on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, if you want to email us, it's uh, Backyard Mecca show at gmail.com. Um, and what else? That's pretty much it, man. And uh, just remember, um, once again, if you could accumulate a thought in your mind, that means it is out there. And if it is out there, all you have to do is go get that shit. That's right. Peace, peace. peace. See y'all next week. Thank you.